Hi guys! So there were a few of you who have been asking me questions about my wall. So today I wanted to make a video showing you guys how I made that wall. Now the main thing about setting up my art studio, I wanted to make sure that it was going to be inspiring to me. So I want to walk into this room and automatically feel ready to work and just ready to make some art. When choosing the color for the wall, I wanted it to actually be something that would look good with my paintings. I wanted it to look nice with the colors that I used. And then I remember being obsessed with this color which is Radiant Green from Gamblin, and it is an amazing color. I've used so much of it in my paintings, and every time I'm using it, I'm like, this is so beautiful. And so I painted the studio pretty much with the closest color that I could find to this, which it, it isn't exactly the same. This is actually a little bit greener. That's more of a turquoise, um, but yeah. Yeah, kind of matches. I've always wanted a Baroque vintage wall pattern, but I hate wallpaper. I think it's so inconvenient and so annoying and I just didn't want to deal with it. So I decided to torture myself in other ways. So the design, the pattern on the wall was a design that I actually created, but in order to make the design work, I had to make it function like kind of like a tessellation, meaning that it just like repeats, 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 and it's all the same. So this is the stencil that I was using. It's actually pretty simple. This is reflected in this. All of these edges are one design. Does that make sense? I've probably confused you and maybe myself. All of these edges are one thing that's just flipped around in different ways, but when you put it all together, it works. So then I drew out the design on a poster board and I cut it out with a razor, which was probably the most annoying part, believe it or not. So what I did is I would just tape the pattern to the wall and initially I started off using a roller, which didn't really work very well. I actually had to go back and redo the design. The paint would like seep in through underneath the design and you can see like over here that's all covered in paint. And so that pretty much turned it into like a blob and the details weren't as intricate. So then I switched to this brush, which I know is crazy that I painted that entire wall with one little brush, but I promise you it wasn't that bad. It was pretty much just like, okay, you know, like no more than a minute or two on each one. So I arranged them all vertically and then horizontally, but I still had like an empty diagonal space of the design. And so when that paint was dried, I would just go back in, place it over it and paint only the central piece, not the rest of the edges. And that's pretty much how I made it work. It was just kind of like a mindless, repetitive task. It wasn't hard. I mean, some people could get annoyed, I guess, but I didn't. I was just like, yeah, I just want to make this pattern work. Uh, and so, yeah. So I hope this has been helpful for those of you who have been asking questions about this. And maybe you have an idea of like how you can make a stencil and decorate your room if you want to. It doesn't even have to be like a floral pattern. It could be anything. You can make any design to just, you know, pattern it all over your wall. Also, if any of you are in San Francisco or in the surrounding area not too far from it, I'm going to be part of a group show at Modern Eden Gallery. So I'm going to leave the link in the description. The opening reception is February 15th. They're going to post the time for the opening reception. So if you guys are in the area, please come out to the show. That would be awesome. I'm going to do my best to make it out there. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to click like on the video because you're awesome. And subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you next Wednesday. Bye, guys.